In this video we will make a wine rack, first by creating a complex shape for the size of the cabinet in CAD and importing and applying it in polyboard. We've got the dimensions shown on the left and we'll start by creating a rectangle sized to the overall cabinet dimensions. I'm not going to explain every single operation here as different CAD packages are going to be set up differently. But in general terms, with the corner circles, we're setting the start and finish points of the outer arc. Here we're changing some of the drafting settings to then mark out the position of the outer arc shape. And then to draw it. Next we're going to take a copy of the arc and move it inwards to mark the end point for each groove for the wine bottles. All the unwanted lines are now removed. And next up we're going to select the circle option and draw out the shape for each of the grooves. We start with a circle, get the dimensions right, and put in two parallel lines. And then trim out the unwanted part of the circle. So that's the groove finished. A small line now from the top of the shape gives us the final positioning point we need to slide the first groove into place. The centre point of the curved groove end intersects with our inner arc. Now we are creating the positioning points to place three more groove shapes or copies of the first. And all intersect with that same arc. We can grab all four and create an inversion to place the remaining shapes in the bottom half. So we're almost done now. We just need to trim all the extra lines we don't want. Then create the line we need from top to bottom and trim the rest of the outside of the shape away. Final few things to do. Convert all the lines to polylines. And position our shape at X and Y zero points. And last thing to do in our CAD package is to save our shape as a DXF file. So inside Polyboard now, we go to the libraries and specifically to the closed curve library in this case. Select the import icon and load up our shape. Make sure we select the shape uh, and no extra polylines that might have been in the import. Click OK, OK again. And now we're going to create the wine rack itself, which starts with a simple box cabinet of the correct dimensions. We want to actually change the box full sub method to make the sides overpassing. They weren't before. Now select the side, go into the structures edit menu, click the plus button, and we're going to add our shape. For the tooling and panel references, it's right center and position at zero millimeters. Click OK. The final thing to do is to select the three dots next to our inner tooling in the properties menu, copy the structure we've created, select the other side and paste the structure there too. 
Viewed in 3D, we've got our wine rack all set up. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.